Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, and welcome to Design Fusion NX webinar series. Uh, today, uh, seminar, uh, I'm sorry, webinar is going to be session number five. Okay, so uh, again, let's just kind of overview, uh, talk about, about the basics here. Um, so this is a very basic, uh, you know, anybody could, uh, that does not know NX <clears throat> and uh, one kind of a little familiar with the basics, uh, you know, any manager, supervisor, employee, new employee, prospect, or anybody that's interested, uh, any individuals that's interested in basic NX, uh, this is uh, definitely a, your, uh, your, uh, so, uh, again, I like to kind of, uh, emphasize that this is not replace instructor uh, fundamentals co course. Uh, it is designed to introduce you to the ba basic capabilities of NX. All right. So today is April 24th, uh, session number five, and then we're going to go in and start, uh, creating drawings from the and dimensions. Uh, typically, like I said before, uh, we'll start at 10 o'clock uh, Eastern, 9 Central, and it usually lasts uh, less than an hour sessions. Each session will be a PowerPoint presentation better with uh, demonstrations and videos. Uh, this presentation is being recorded and will be uploaded to our um, so, uh, blog and for, for you to review later at a later time. Creating simple drawings. All right, so just kind of recap of what we've covered in the past week. So we talked about the introduction of uh, NX, you know, the user interface. Uh, talked about sketching, and then moved on to modeling. You know, basic modeling techniques. What do you, what commands you use? And, and then uh, yesterday we talked about. Um, you know, bringing those models into the assembly and the techniques that you use to bring those uh, parts into the assembly. And now we want to make sure we document that. So the way we do that is actually bring those parts or assemblies into the drafting application. So the drafting application allows you to produce and maintain industry standards, engineering drawings directly from 3D model to or any part. Uh, drawings are created uh, in drafting application that are fully associated to the model. Any changes that made up made to the model are automatically reflected in the drawing. This is defined as model base process. Uh, the components uh, is considered the master model. Edits to the master model are updated in the drawings. So anything you do in the drawings, whether it's a draft uh, assembly or part it will automatically update on your 2D drawings. And here's just another application, how we look at the master model. Uh, you can see that obviously what we're gonna be talking about here is the drafting and the, uh, you know, you can see if anything you do here will also reflect back in your assembly and your CNC, um, I'm sorry, uh, master uh, cam uh, or analysis. All right. So the first, typically, uh, you know, the first part you do, you place this be the base view, All right? So uh, in order to do that, uh, we have two options. Uh, you have the the wizard, which we'll talk about first. All right. So how do we go about doing that? All right. So let's see that we have a um, open up an, an assembly here of this armrest. Okay, so let's say that you uh, already finished with the models, you, you brought everything into the assembly. Now I need to go ahead and create a, um, a drafting out of this. All right, so let me just bring this, uh, my resource bar here a little closer here. All right, so you, here's our model, all right? Um, and at that, like I said, uh, at this point, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and create a drawing out of that. Uh, 
2D drawing out of this. So uh, the first step is, well, I'm gonna go ahead and create, go through the wizard option right here. So I'm gonna go to new, right? And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select new. And in here, uh, you see notice it already prompted you into the draft uh, drawing tab here. And at this point you could select uh, the size of the drawing you want. And notice right here, reference to existing part. That's what the one we just did. And also the name. Uh, if you wish to, you know, put in some other folder, that's fine. You could do that as well. At this point, you could say, yes, that's the one I want and say, okay. All right. And then when this happens, uh, another dollar box appears. This is if you want to put in your, you know, who's issued, drawn by, checked by, approved by, and things like that. So I'm just going to go leave that blank, just hit close. Okay. Now in here, um, I got, I get the wizard dialog box here, right? So uh, in here, you could go and, you know, set, set to the part. Uh, you can see some of the parts that have already been loaded here. You can actually select other parts uh, if you wish to do at this point. Um, or I could go to the next options here. Now in here, uh, I'm able to either, you know, you see how it's nice and shaded. You got the nice colors and everything. If you don't want that, maybe you want to come back and make that uh, just uh, hidden wireframe. Okay. Uh, I could do that or maybe just... I don't know if that's going to be appropriate because it's really hard to see what, what's inside there. So I think one of these right here be fine. Um, this one is more mostly typical one that's used. Um, and then you go to the next one, uh, the arrangement. Uh, you, which one they, do you want, uh, let's say, uh, the view boundary? Yeah, close is fine. Let's see here. And then the next one is going to be um, uh, orientation. Now at this point, you can select wh which one you want as to be your front uh, for this particular view. Uh, maybe I want this to be my front. And you can kind of see that's what that gives you a preview of that. Uh, and see, yeah, that's, that's what I want. And the last thing is gonna be uh, your layout, all right? So at this point, uh, I definitely want a top view. You see, I just puts it in there. And then maybe I want isometric view and a right view. Okay. And see how it's updating that as you select the uh, options here. Okay. And, and once you're done, let's say, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, finish. Okay, so uh, so basically that's what it did, right? Place them in there. But notice what it's got here. It's got some of the little borders in here. Uh, typically, you don't want to show those. Uh, so I go to the preferences here and go to drafting. And under the drafting, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And that's under right here. It's going to be under uh, draw, uh, drawing general setup, and you go to the drawing view, you go to workflow and turn that off right here and say, okay. So that kind of gives you a better view there. Okay. All right. So that's how you go about, you know, if you really had an assembly opened, right. Uh, and, or a part, you could have been a part too as well. And if you want to go through this wizard, so automatically, you know, goes on, put the top view, select which orientation, things like that. Kind of nice way to send it up, right? Uh, that's one method, okay? Let me go back to my uh, PowerPoint here. And basically that's what I just did. You know, just kind of recap on that. Uh, you know, I went through the wizard option here, went through the steps, right? On the options here. Um, and then at that point, I was able to either select the hidden wireframe shade uh, or whichever you want, you know, whether it's rendered or not, that's fine. And then finally, just click finish. So that's the view wizard creation process. Um,
okay? And that's basically what I said. If you wanna remove that border, just go ahead and take that off and it gives you a nice better, better visual on everything how it's set up. It's not having a little border. Okay, um, the next one will be, the next uh, will be when you add a draft uh, views, an empty drawing, you need to use the base views. So let's say I did not have, uh, I did not start with an assembly or, or a part and gone through the wizard. Let's just say you started with an empty drawing sheet, okay? Uh, at that point, you will use base views to kind of go through that. So let me just kind of show you that. Okay, so uh, this is how you would do that. Uh, you would go ahead and uh, select the base view command, browse for that uh, particular part. And you see that's on the recent parts in there. And actually now at that point you tell, okay, which direction do you want to uh, at the other uh, projected view now, okay? So let me uh, just kind of go through this and show you that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up my drawing here. My... All right, so, all right, so let's say, um, here actually that's not what I wanted. Mm. I'm gonna start with a, let's see, yeah, close that, close that. Cause that's what I said, right? I wanted to start with a new drawing. So go to new. And I'm gonna select the, this view right here. That's fine. And say, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna say close here. And at this point, yes, and then I go go to the, uh, see that right here, right next, so that's the view wizard creation. Uh, I could have done that too, but if I want to, I'll also go to base views is here as well. Let's say yes. And at this point, I'm gonna have to go browse for that particular uh, uh, part here. So I'm gonna go here and go to, uh, And there and, and that and parts. And the part I'm looking for is the DES05 drafting. And let's scroll down here. Um, let's see here, drafting bearing. There we go, that's the one. All right, so at that point I click okay. And that's what happens right here. So you get that. Uh, so a couple of things I could do here, right? So you could see that right here. I could select the top view here, uh, scale. And if I wanna kind of maybe just, uh, let's say for example, um, uh, let's say right click here See that right here? I could do the same thing here. Uh, I could select uh, the preview, one, what's gonna be a hidden uh, wireframe. See that? Go right click here again, go to shade it. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I could change um, the scale as well here. So a lot of the stuff you could just do by right clicking and you could do this some of them right here as well. Uh, I could change the top view or front view. See that? Just by doing click here or back. And I'm gonna look for its particular view. It's gonna be, I believe the left. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. And, and then once you place that, um, I go also actually click here and go to settings and you could get more options in here. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Say cancel here. And then once I do that, I could simply just place that. And once I do that, you can see that I'm able to create another uh, project view here now at this point, see that? And I could actually see what it's doing here is I move that from the top, kind of hinges off here. And then you can say, okay, well, that's maybe I want that from here. So it's kind of a nice way to say, okay, maybe I want that view right here, right? Um, let's say there. 
and in here. Okay, see that? That's pretty cool how it does that. And at that point, if you don't want to place anymore, you simply hit um, there. Okay, so let's say that um, I didn't, I, I really, let's every, I'm going to go ahead and come back and delete some of these right here, these views here. Uh, I'm going to delete that one right there. And if you ever want to delete them, just go to the part navigator. You'll see them right here in the drawings, right? Actually, I wanted to keep that one. There you go. And delete that one. Okay. So you saw what I did here. I, I created the base view. And let's say that uh, you had maybe at one point come back and want to add another views to this base view. At that point, uh, I would have to go into the project view. And at that point, I'm going to click on that command. And you can see I automatically placed me there. And let's say maybe uh, I want to place one here and another one here. Okay. Uh, at any point, I could always come back and project from another view here as well. So I could click on view here, select view. And say I want to make another project view of this one right here. And you can see that now it's off of this view instead of this view right here. So at any point you could come back and say, maybe I changed my mind. I want this one right here. See that? Okay. All right. Um, if I need to um, change, for example, uh, a different view, right? So I want to actually change the hinge right here. See where it says hinge? So I want to go back to this view right here. And um, I want to cre create actually another uh, from this surface right here. See that how that got the, the holes right there and the holes, four holes in there. I'm actually going to want to get a view from that. So at that point, I'm going to come back and select this view right here. And I also want to define uh, the hinge. So I'm going to go ahead and, and define that and come back and select this line right here. And as soon as I do that, See how it places it there? That's exactly what I'm looking for. And if, let's say if you had come the other, the other side, you could come, simply come back up here and say, uh, uh, reverse that projector view here. And see, that's what it does. But obviously that's not what I'm looking for. So I come back and place that here, right there. All right, and that's basically what I'm looking for, right? I'm gonna place it right here, okay? Okay, um, let's see here. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is, all right, let me go back and turn off those uh, borders there. And turn that off here. All right. Uh, obviously, you know, you could draw uh, in more details here, right? So let's say I wanted to uh, uh, add some details to this view right here. So I'll go to the uh, uh, detail view. So we'll click there. And let's say I'm gonna place a detail, let's say right about here. You can see I can kind of make it as big as I want. And as soon as I place uh, left click, you see I places that view right there. And, and you could add details. I could add, uh, you know, different scale, things like that. You could change the, you know, uh, notes and things like that right about here. Um, one other thing is, let's say that uh, I want to create, I'm going to delete the top one right here. Uh, I'm going to go to, which one is it? Uh, is this guy right here? Go ahead and delete there. Say I want to create a, a section view through that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the section view here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm changing my mind. Let me delete this one right here. So I could just slice through this one and kind of show the insides of that. Uh, turn that off. And obviously it took the detail view with it as well because obviously that was uh, related to that and that's what warning was. All right, so let's create a, um, a uh, section view here. <clears throat> and uh, I wanna go ahead and place that, I wanna go ahead and uh, specify the, um, Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I want to place it right by here. 
and you can always zoom in a little closer to uh, uh you know if you want to snap into anything here and zoom out here and it just hey you know i'll put it in the top here that's fine there you go see that um okay and that's how you go about doing that right so you can see the internals of that section view and it gives you that uh you know there it is right there section bb to that um okay all right so at this point yes the next thing is i i want to go ahead and apply some dimensions to this so uh let's see here let me just where left up on my powerpoint here let's see here All right, so I basically kind of recap on that, what I just did here, right? On the base view, right? You could right click anywhere and it's gonna give you those options here. And you can set that to either wireframe or shaded, right? You got more other views, you wanna set the top view, front view, or simply go to the settings as well, right? And at that point, I would select the either left click to place my, uh, first view, and at that point, you can get the projective view as well. All right, so uh, basically that's what I just did earlier. Went in here and, and, and did the, the hinge line there. And the next thing is dimensions. Yes, so uh, basically NX supports any uh, standard uh, for dimension. Uh, and let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and open up that from here oh i think uh let's see here okay Hold on. The, my nx kind of locked up a little bit here there we go just there we go uh, let me uh, get out of that command. I was doing that command. And let me close that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, when creating drawings, uh, obviously you need to uh, add dimensions to it. So that way you convey that information for manufacturing purposes, right? So the guy in the tool room knows how, you know, where to cut, what size stock you need to buy, things like that. Okay, so the ones that we're mainly gonna be talking about is using um, your rapid dimension right here. And you click on that command. And in here, you simply, you know, if you wanna select the, that geometry there, the edge there, and go here. And at that point, um, you, know, you place your dimension. Simple as that. Um, now, if I want to go a little detail on what the, they're doing here, I could simply go in and say, all right, well, let me go ahead and apply the dimension here and kind of show more details of what the dimension has to offer there. All right, so if I go in here and place a dimension here, or actually let me make that a little bigger over here, place them here to here. And here there try to get the sun eyes there my bad there we go all right so you see when i place it there and if i just keep moving around you know it tells you where you you know you might want to place it but if i sit and wait you get this uh, uh dialog box here right and in here uh, uh you could do a couple of things on the fly you know you can move that around here uh, uh and if i keep moving around it will just disappear right but if I want to actually do some work in there, then I'll click on the little wrench here, right? And this is what happened. Now it gives me to uh, some edit mode here. And then you got these um, little handles here. And if when I hover over those handles, I get something that comes up, a little fly out. And then when I do that, uh, I'm able to kind of go and say, okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. And at that point, I'm actively in this uh, 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 flower here. And then at that point, I could simply select, well, I want this to be a 
you know, what kind of arrow do I want to apply to that? See that? You can see them right there. Uh, do you want it in or out? Okay. All right. If you not say I'm done with this and I say you click back and that gets you out of that egg, the mode, right? And again, if I just let wait and then come back and do this, I get them again. Uh, and at that point, I could either click here and the little handle there and basically do the same thing here. See that? And this time allows me to move that around. So it's very interactive, really nice, nice way to, and then once you're done with that, you can say, yes, I'm done. Right. Um, nice way to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, basically what I was just doing here. All right. Yes. And you also have the ability to do uh, almost the same thing, but if you do a, route, a right mouse click or a right mouse button click there. So if I go back again, all right, let's say I'm going to place another dimension here. This one is going from here to there. Let's say from here to there, all right? So if I do a, uh, you know, again, if I wait for that, you're going to get this right here. Like I said, oh, one other thing too, you, not only that, I forgot to point out this right here too. Let's say um, uh, I want to actually change some things here, right? You could see that type of a, uh, dimension right here you want to apply. Uh, this is going to be your no tolerance. Uh, you have the ability to put a tolerance in here. And then once you do that, then you can go say, yeah, that's going to be a 0 0.001 or something like that. And you can see that places it right there. Um, and you got a prefix, suffix, things like that. You can put in, or you want to make that a reference dimension. So that you can just turn that on off. Or uh, if I want to do that, I could also do the same thing here. If I just right click on the mention or anywhere in this area here and, and use the same thing. See that right here? Basically getting the same functionality here, uh, uh, options here that I'm doing that right here on the GUI right here. So uh, it's up to you which one you want to use. Obviously, these are your settings again, the arrows, see that in and out, orientation, and the tolerance. Okay. And then once you're done, and simply just place it. All right. And let's see. Uh, all right. The next thing is uh, if I want to place my parts list. All right. So if I go back, open this part. I say yes. And again, I believe I have to get out of the. All right. I was still within that command there. Close that. So I don't need that anymore. And my parts list. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go through the wizard. And uh, so I could just, yes, use this uh, as uh, my assembly. Let's say I started with my assembly here. Go to new. And select that, and yes, reference that from existing part. And I'm gonna say close. But since I only want that isometric view, uh, we could go straight to our layout right here, and say I want I uh, actually turn all these off. And. Leave that one on, turn this one, this one off. There we go. Just takes a little while to update. You know what? I could probably done that right here. Just done that right isometric view. And go to layout and turn this one off. There we go. Much better. Okay, so let's say I'm with finish here. And I just simply uh, place it right here somewhere. And I'm going to turn that border off again. There. And simply go my parts list. And it's going to be right by here. 
and maybe place that there. And once you place your um, your parts list, I could come back and maybe move this a little bit so you could kind of get a, all the naming there without, there you go, something like that. And then the last thing I want to put in the balloons and select my parts list and say yes. There they are. And at this point, uh, you know, you can simply go and, you know, move them where they, it looks more so like these right here. Something like that. Okay. All right. So basically that's how we go about, you know, we go from a, um, parts, assemblies, draft, and dimensions. And then obviously you want to make sure we have a, a kind of a parts list of all your components that, that are part of your assembly. All right. Um, and let me go back to my PowerPoint here. All right, so again, thank you. Uh, another reminder uh, for anybody who wants, has questions, go feel free to just email that to us, support at designfusion.com. Uh, this will be, I believe this will be the um, last one of these series for the webinars. Uh, keep tuned for any other uh, stuff we may come up with. Uh, if you wanna visit our blog, check them out. Uh, go to our website. And again, if you wanna, start a free trial of NX, you know, just go ahead and Google it up. And I typed in um, simply NX software and that takes you to the Siemens website. And there you select the uh, start free trial. And you, once you do that, you select the package that you want. And the great thing about this is, is uh, the trial is on the cloud. So therefore there's no need for you to download any software. Uh, you select the package and anywhere, as long as you have a browser, uh, as long as you have a browser anywhere, any, any device, uh, you will be able to basically try it out. All right. Thank you guys. I uh, hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.